Before you begin, review the precautions section. Read and follow the important controller considerations. Verify module failure. Record configuration settings. As a best practice, record system settings before replacing a controller module. Disable partner firmware update. Dual controller configurations only. Note, be sure to put on your electrostatic discharge wrist strap to avoid damaging any circuitry. Note, to reduce the impact on system performance, perform all maintenance tasks during periods of low system activity or during a system maintenance window. Caution, removing a module from an operational enclosure significantly changes airflow within the enclosure. Openings must be populated for the enclosure to cool properly. Leave modules in the enclosure until a replacement is available. Important. In a single controller configuration, if transporting the compact flash to a new controller, remove the controller only after the cache is copied to the compact flash. When the copy is complete, the cache status LED is off, or it is flashing one-tenth of a second on and nine-tenths of a second off. In a single controller environment, I.O. must be stopped and the enclosure must be powered off prior to the replacement. In a dual controller environment, if the failed controller is first shut down, the controller may be hot replaced in an operational enclosure. Note, in a single controller configuration, see the steps for transporting compact flash section. Removal. If you are replacing a controller in a single controller environment, stop all I.O. and remove power from the enclosure. Go to step 3. In a dual controller configuration, to shut down the filled controller, access the SMU. Click System on the left sidebar, then click the Action button, and select Restart System. Set the following options, and then click OK. Operation, Shutdown, Controller Type, Storage, Controller, A or B. The blue OK to remove LED on the controller illuminates, indicating that the controller can be safely removed. Locate the enclosure in which the controller module OK to remove LED is blue. Disconnect cables connected to the module. Label each cable to facilitate reconnection. Turn the thumb screws until the screws disengage from the module. and rotate both latches downward to disengage the module from the internal connector. Pull the module straight out of the enclosure. Replacement. With the latches in the open position, slide the module into the enclosure as far as it will go. Press firmly on the top center of the module to facilitate insertion, ensuring that the module is well seated and flush with the chassis. Rotate the latches upward to engage the module with the internal connector and turn the thumb screws finger tight. Reconnect the cables. After installing a controller in an operational dual controller system, the new controller automatically begins initializing. If the firmware versions differ between the two controllers, the partner firmware update feature brings the older firmware to the later firmware level. In operational systems, if additional hardware components, such as a second controller, need replacing or installing, wait 30 minutes before proceeding with those procedures. This time frame ensures that the controllers and their ownership of V-Discs are fully stabilized. Before you continue, verify proper operation. Verify configuration settings. Update firmware. <laughs>